You know, sometimes I just sit down and think, why did I start a YouTube channel? Was it for money? <laughs> for fame? Nigga, please. What was it? Yo, this is really good. I should tell someone about it. So I stumbled onto a Manwa series a little while ago, and it being Manwa, I thought, hey, a quick way to see a few hot babes in compromising positions. Hey, I'm taking a break from work. Let's go. Wait, is this an action mon- And the cool knight has just been added as a pervert. Dad. Who uses monsters as- And the whole country learns about this and starts doing the same? And the main protagonist is an innocent adventurer completely unaware about the perverted land she has sailed into? Let's fucking go. Like, oh my god, she came to this faraway land to hunt monsters for fame, glory, and booty, and everyone around her just assumes she's only there for the booty. She goes to the traditional RPG starter inn, and they are serving condoms with the bread and water. And it's only been like five... pages? Frames? What term do you even use for webcomics like these? Anyways, it only gets better from here. One example of that being the introduction of the primary supporting character, who is the Kuderius of Kuderes. Like, she is medically diagnosed with frigid bitch syndrome, and her preferred method of therapy is copious amounts of sex, drug, and masturbation. Also, she's a sushi chef, which in this world translates to being a skilled assassin that can make sashimi plates out of 10-foot monsters. There are other characters that join in later in the story, but I won't talk about them for spoiler's sake. What I will say though, is that their friendship feels super organic, and their clashing personalities play off each other so well. The best thing I can compare to is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, specifically the part with the Sure you have the main mission, but the real charm of the series is in how it's basically a road trip between a bunch of dudes. No romantic undertones, no love triangles, no rivalries that ultimately end up being written like romance just a nice adventure with the boys. And in this series, it's basically that, but girls night out. Girls do get it, the action of this series was another surprising but welcome addition to this story's concept. What I expected was a simple fantasy story with some crude humor, but what I got was, like I said earlier, a primary supporting character that is a skilled sushi serving assassin. But even the protagonist is a trained martial artist who bites pressure points on her hand to gain supernatural strength and speed. And one of the earliest showings of this is the protagonist getting caught in a house-shaped pitcher plant that dissolves the victim's clothing That's good. and stuns them with an aphrodisiac gas in order to drown and consume them. That's bad. The tonal whiplash from that sentence is insane, but the story makes events like that work. You get shit like demons with literal dickheads, or a military commander who leads a band, and by band I mean a literal orchestra, that uses sound like artillery. or a goblin monster that is actually a 15 foot tall giant that likes watching NTR. Out of this house. The whole story just had me glued to the screen, wondering what crazy shit our band of heroes would run into next. The blend of action and sexual comedy is absolute peak for me. I mean, how can you not laugh when a character is facing down Supergirl and her solution is to basically shove kryptonite up her <laughs> It probably goes without saying, but the creativity on offer also shows up with how the story handles its sexual comedy. I've seen quote unquote sex world style stories before, but not many of them try to fit the concepts into the world's actual ecology like this one does. Despite the ridiculous idea of using monsters as jack-off material, it doesn't go with the basic idea of monsters poofing away like a JRPG and leaving behind sex-based loot. Instead you have things like mushrooms that just so happen to be the perfect shape for some when harvested, or a literal ore that only virgins can hold so it's pretty much treated like a waste rock by blacksmith and miners because 90% of them can't touch the stuff without specialized equipment. And these concepts are mostly not simple throwaway gags and actually show up when it would be relevant to the story. Someone wanting to get laid in the middle of a forest with no supplies? Don't worry, this freshly shed snakeskin is literally the best condom on the market. Heck, the big overarching conflict in this world basically boils down to demons seeing all the debauchery going on around them and viewing it like the humans are performing bestiality on a national level. I'm from Buenos Aires and I say kill them all! Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Is the story crazy deep? 
no, not really, but it still hits with a higher level of sincerity than a lot of other casual sex comedy manga that I've read. Like, you can really feel the transition of a creator going from just making a basic gag manhwa based on a simple premise to really pushing to show the personalities of the characters and their journeys, dealing with abandonment, feeling useless, and coming to terms when things really just don't work out the way they wanted them to. And then the next page is showing off the characters' other personalities, to remind the readers that at the end of the day, this story is supposed to make you laugh, and cry, and laugh again. Overall, this story is an amazing ride and something I highly recommend. Sex, action, comedy, and a little bit of JoJo-style randomness. It is a masterclass in everything I want from the story. And for God's sake, it has an actual good ending that doesn't feel like the publisher just kicked down the door one day and said, you got three chapters, wrap it up. Sorry, I've been burned recently. But seriously, it even has a short epilogue series to wrap up the loose ends. More stories should do that. So check this series out if you want. It's called What Happens Inside the Dungeon. I think it's really good, and well, AC6 video coming out at some point. But for now, I'm out to get more milk. I'll see you all next time. Matane.